So looking at the effect of substrate concentration against um, uh, for enzyme control reactions. So this is a big misunderstanding. So if we start a reaction um, and we have time at the bottom and here's zero and here's sort of two minutes up here. Um, so when we start a reaction, we're going to add a substrate and we're going to add it to an enzyme and the enzyme is going to turn it into a product. And it's going to turn it by forming an enzyme substrate complex, which is going to reduce the activation energy, which means that it's going to be turned into a product. Um, and there's two types of reaction. There's putting things together, which is anabolic, and there's breaking things apart, which is catabolic. Now, if we put a substrate concentration on this side, then when we start the reaction, substrate's going to be at a high level. As soon as we be begin the reaction, the substrate concentration is going to fall because the substrate is being turned into product. So the substrate concentration is going to fall instantly. Until the end, it's going to be used up, so the rate of reaction will be zero at that point. If we look at um, the rate of reaction, so here is rate, and this is initial rate of reaction. Because remember, as soon as you start an, an experiment, the substrate concentration is going to fall. So the, after, you, after it's been running for, say, 10 seconds, then the, rate will have, the um, substrate concentration will have fallen from this level to this level. So these experiments, where you measure um, rate of reaction against and you vary substrate concentration, it's important that you plot initial rate of reaction. So if you have no substrate, you'll have no rate of reaction. If you have a little bit of substrate, with this experiment, the initial rate of reaction will be higher. If you have more substrate, the initial rate of reaction will be higher. More substrate will be higher, more substrate will be higher, more substrate will be higher, and then it will level off when all of the active sites are occupied all of the time at the beginning of the experiment. So over this period here, then substrate concentration is limiting the rate of reaction, the initial rate of reaction. Because if we increase it further here, then its substrate concentration is not limiting the rate of reaction because as you increase it, the rate does not go up. So what's limiting the rate of reaction here is either enzyme concentration or pH or temperature, but it's probably enzyme concentration. But it's initial rate of reaction because as soon as you start the experiment, the con substrate concentration will fall. So you want to measure the rate of reaction right at the beginning before that concentration starts to fall.